camp and today we're going to look at how to divide whole numbers by 10 and 100. I'm going to use a baseboard and a place value slider to help me. Let's start by looking at how to divide 670 by 10. I'm going to partition 670 into hundreds, tens and ones. 6 is 600, so I am going to stick 6 in the hundreds column. 7 is 7 tens, so I am going to stick 7 in the tens column. And I'm going to stick 0 in the ones column. As each column to the right is 10 times smaller, to divide by 10, we move each digit one column to the right. It then becomes 10 times smaller or a tenth of the size of the column to the left. So here, 600 becomes 6 tens. 70 becomes 7 ones. And um, I need to remove the zero. We can also show this by using the place value slider. I have written 670 in the hundreds, tens and ones column of the place value slider. As we are dividing by 10, we need to pull the slider so that each digit moves one column to the right. I then have to rub off the zero. We can see from both of these that 670 divided by 10 equals 67. This time we're going to look at what happens when you divide a number by 100. Let's look at 9300 divided by 100. I'm going to start by partitioning 9300. 9 is 9000, 3 is 300. And then I need to put zero in the tens and ones columns. We already know that each column to the right is 10 times smaller. So two columns to the right are 100 times smaller. So when we divide 9,300 by 100, the 9,000s move two columns to the right to become 90 or 9 10s. And the 300s move two columns to the right to become three ones. And then we need to remove the both, both zeros. We can also show this by using the place value slider. I have written 9,300 in the thousands, hundreds, tens and ones columns. As we are dividing by 100, we need to pull the slider two columns to the right. And then I need to rub out both zeros. We can see from both of these that 9,300 divided by 100 equals 93. Why don't you pause the video and have a go at some yourself? I'm going to give you the answers in three. Two, one. For 280 divided by 10, each digit moves one column to the right. So 200 becomes two tens and the 80 becomes eight ones. We no longer need the zero. So at 280 divided by 10 equals 28. For 4,600 divided by 10, 100, each digit moves two columns to the right, so 4,000 becomes four tens, 600 becomes six ones, and we no longer need the two zeros, so 4,600 divided by 100 equals 46. For 8,100 divided by 100, each digit moves two columns to the right, so the 8,000 becomes eight tens, the 100 becomes 1-1 one, one, and we no longer need the two zeros. So 8,100 divided by 100 equals 81. I hope you all found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!